Hi, welcome. So today we're going to talk about stars and the life of stars and how is it that we stand here on Earth so far from stars and we can still tell you, uh, tell so much about stars. How can we tell their temperature, chemical composition? So we're going to start to analyze that today. So here we have two stars and those two boxes that are representing stars. But of course, you know, they, they should be round, but I didn't have anything round. So those are two boxes, two stars of exactly the same size and at the same distance from the observer, which are us here on Earth. A sketch of what's happening here is on the board also. So I drew two stars of about the same size, right? Bear with me. Two stars of the same size. And here we are, the observers, catching the light from those stars. All right. So. Let's see what's, what light we get from the stars. Oh, I got the blue photon. So some blue light from the star, and we get some green light from the star, and we're going to get some orange light from the star. Let's see. Oh, some purple light from the star. So I'm putting them here in order of energy, like you would see it in a rainbow. Also get some yellow and some red. Actually, I got this one. Okay, let's see what else there is. Oh, in fact, this one has tones of blue. So I'm just going to add all the photons that I'm getting from the star. Getting a lot of blue. Oh, quite a few yellows. Oh, found another purple in there. One more purple. Stay. One more purple. Oh, one more orange. And more blue. And this star is sending me a lot of blue photons. Oh, a lot of green ones that I'm leaving here too. So I'm getting a lot of green, a lot of blue. And that's it. That's what I got from this star when I looked at it with my telescope, let's say for one minute. I looked at it and that's what I collected. So I got a lot of blue light. A little bit of red light. So let's leave this star here and collect all the light. Now let's observe this other star. Remember the same sign, same distance from us. And let me see what comes out of here. So there we go. Blue again. Uh, I got the green. Got one more green. Let's see. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, quite a few oranges in here. Oops, stay orange. Orange, not orange. One more yellow. Orange. Red. Red. No purple of this one whatsoever. So, hmm. So now I pointed my same telescope that is at the same distance from this star, and I collected less photos overall, right? And this one had a lot of blue, whether this one has a lot of orange instead. So, because this one has a lot of blue, I would perceive it as a bluer star. Let's say that this here is my blue star. And the orange star, I'm going to put right here. So this is the orange star. Now, what is it that this light is telling me? What's the difference between those two stars? It's not the size, it's not the distance from us. The difference is the temperature, the surface temperature of the star, because the light that we're observing comes directly from the surface of the star. This star is hotter, significantly hotter than the orange star. So if the orange star has a temperature of, let's say, about 4,000 Kelvin, then this star would have a temperature of about 10,000. Way hotter. And that's just at the surface. That's not at the center. The center is way hotter than that. Just at the surface. Okay? So the difference in temperature here is about 6,000 Kelvin. Or if you want to think of the Fahrenheit that you're more familiar with, it's about 10,000 Fahrenheit. All right. So 
just by observing these two stars, just by pointing my telescope and counting the photons of different wavelengths and different energies, I can tell you about the temperature. A hotter star will give, will give off more light overall than a colder star. And a hotter star will also give off bluer light than a colder star. Now, you may observe something different. We may observe, um, let's say, a lot more light coming from the red one. So what I have here is just, I gotta double the number of photons. So for example, I had two red ones, I'm gonna add two more. I had four orange, I'm gonna double that to have eight. Let's double, the, double everything up. So now I'm getting approximately the same total amount of light from both stars, the same total number of photons from both stars. But I still have the signature that I'm getting many more orange photons from the cooler one than I'm getting from the hotter one. Okay? So the hotter one just gave me two orange, and the, the cooler one gave me gave me orange. So under what circumstances could this happen? Well, one reason we may observe something like this would be if, for example, this orange star were in fact larger. So it has more area, more surface area, emitting more light overall. So this would be a situation in which you observe about the same number of photons, but we can still say which one is hotter and which one is cold. And now we can also say something about the size, if we know they are at the same distance from us. Another circumstance on which we could observe this would be if this star was actually, in fact, closer to us, somewhere here, in the same area, but closer to us. Therefore, we'll get more photons from it, get more photons from it. So from the light, you can get the temperature. If you have any information about the distance to those two stars, you can also learn something about the size of the stars. And vice versa, if you know something about the size, you can get some information about the distance to those stars. And I hope that helped you.